Hello, and welcome back to Endless Mode. I'm Captain Emoji. I'm Boku Bell. And I'm Mysterious Gamer X. And I'm at the helm, and we're playing Dragon Quest Builders, which is so cute! Um, I took the liberty to gather some supplies since the uh, last video. Pippa which has is, another... Mm -hmm. yeah, which is important, because it's a building game. Yes, right. I'm going to be hitting the wrong menus constantly until I get the hang of this. New control scheme and all that. Makes yeah. sense. You must have some kind of special power to be able to fix up that old house like that. How did you do it? Well, I put <laughs> one rock, and I put it on another what? rock. You've got the power to be you wild new things? Wield. Wield. Wield new things. <laughs> what does be wild mean? That's, that's not what I said. Grapple, my child. Do you remember what I told you? Hold on, talking to God. <laughs> Long ago. <laughs> Long I'm very ago. religious. The people of this land lost the power of creation. It is your duty to help them regain this power. Anyway, I really appreciate you fixing the house like this, but it's not much use without some kind of light inside. Or a roof. <laughs> I can't see any torches lying around here. God can! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Grapple obtains a splat of blue goo. Great. From where? God. the sky. Oh. Sometimes I find stuff when I talk. <laughs> Sometimes when I'm talking, God just makes stuff fall down from the sky. <laughs> okay. Whatever you say, Grapple. Create. Oh, wow. Five torches. And a bonfire. Yeah, well, they'll ask me about it in a Big second. Big torch. And a club. Or Big smash. Stick. Okay. Alright. Well, that was productive. That's incredible! My adorable friend! You're the cutest thing in the world! Sorry for spinning the camera constantly, team. <laughs> hey! Trying to get a good camera angle. <laughs> where'd you find that torch? I made it. <laughs> you didn't find it? You be a wielded? Wield. You wield okay, it. So you, first, you take this long piece of grass, <laughs> wrap it around a stick, and you set it on fire. So that's what wielding means. You picked up stuff from around here and somehow changed it into a torch, right? You are wearing clothes. I do just want to point out, Pippa. <laughs> but but they're probably, like, handed down from generations. That was yes. her grandmother's tattered rags. Exactly. <laughs> Thanks. I think I understand. This sash started out white. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you think you might be able to build anything with this? If you need any more, I'll see if I can find some. Quest complete. So they can gather stuff. They just don't know what to do with it after. Exactly. Exactly. That means if they punch dirt enough, they see blocks of dirt float, and they pick them up, but they don't know what to do with them uh -huh. afterwards. I just realized something. You never told me your name. There might be a reason for that. <laughs> Grapple. Really? Grapple, begin parentheses, TM, end parentheses. I like to think anytime someone questions your name, you put them in like a half Nelson, and they're like, "Oh, it all it all makes sense now." <laughs> what kind of name is that? It doesn't sound like you have special powers at all. I put her in an arm bar, and then she'll <laughs> think twice about saying you don't have any powers. I have the power to taste like synthetic grape. You can know her that hair for your tastes fan like grape. <laughs> <laughs> but you can't uh, judge someone by their name, right? Yeah, Pippa. <laughs> anyway. Why don't you why don't you Pippa down? Grapple. Pip it down. You still got those torches you made, right? You should put one in the house. Our house. God. A room is complete if it has walls two blocks high, a door, and a source of light to stave off the darkness when the sun has set. Press X to go to your creations wherever you wish. Go, my child, and place the torch inside the house. Yeah, God's just telling me how to stall these lights here. <laughs> I actually think we'd really enjoy it if our handyman just pause every now and then to... <laughs> nope. Nope. You gotta stick it on the ground. Torches are a ground thing. Oh, that's right. I forgot. Uh... We don't have cool sconces yet. Sconce technology is beyond us. Okay, cool. Wrong menus. Yeah, so that's what happens so you know that you've built a room. Neat. That's worth 330 points. My sweet friend! My sweet Pippa friend! Wow, look at that! Brilliant! Now that it's all lit up, the room's perfect! I'm gonna take it a nap on this dirt! Room. Oh man, this is good sleeping dirt! 
You're amazing, Grapple. You really do have special powers. It's hard to believe that someone who looks so dopey could be so talented. Um, side ponytail? <laughs> hey, side ponytail? That we were ponytail? just inside of? <laughs> <laughs> You really want to do that? I can get camera angles that would make you cry. Okay? <laughs> I look so cute. But you can't judge someone by their appearance, right? Well, I will now. <laughs> anyway, thanks, Grapple. Now we have somewhere to live. We? We're gonna, we're gonna live in this room. <laughs> uh, I've just gotten a seat of life. Which makes me, um... Hey, Grapple, thanks to you, we have such a lovely room. But don't you think it would be so much better if we had something to sleep on at night? I know, maybe you could build something. Grapple, my child. You must gather <laughs> materials that you might fashion into some bedding. Should you place a bed in a room, you can sleep on it at any time, night or day, to restore your health. It would be great health if fast. you could make two things to sleep on. Okay. Okay, I see how it is. I see what it's like. Like a slumber party. If we had two beds, you could sleep next to each other. This yes. time, Grapple, I shall leave it to you to gather the materials you need to build the straw mattresses. Young Pippa request. <laughs> a straw mattress can be constructed from the grassy leaves. To build one, you must first... Grapple, are you alright? I like that God says build right, and you say build right, but... <laughs> Eureka! Grapple worked out how to make a straw bed. Hooray! I'm gonna put some leaves on the ground if that's okay with you. <laughs> <laughs> there's a there's a couple of leaves inside the room. No, those are my ornamental plants. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> so to say, are you a kind builder? Are you gonna build two? Well, she, the requirement is for two, but also, uh, I want us to have a nice home. I'm gonna... I don't know. Here's our kitchen. There you go. Hooray! Alright. Oh, keep hitting that wrong button. Sorry, team. So you're gonna put them next to each other, or are you gonna sleep at different ends of the room? <laughs> no, we're gonna... We have to sleep next to each other for warmth, because the sky is above us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I didn't... Ceilings. So, Ceilings like that, are advanced technology. I like that the room is like a cute little 8-bit heart. Oh, that is cute. Yeah, this this game doesn't do the love ceilings shack. great, but it looks like the second one will love shack. We can actually build a light, a night light for the love shack. <laughs> wow, you built something to sleep on. Thank you, Grapple. Whether it is night... Oh, wait, this is God now. Whether it is night or day, you can sleep on any bed that is within a room to recover your health. As the sun sets, the darkness will close in around you, and more powerful monsters emerge in force. When night falls, you would do well to return to your base, rest your head upon a pillow, and sleep until morning. I think Grapple, it's, it's, my child! Very polite monsters that they don't try to break down the door while you're sleeping. Oh god, well, they want some privacy. Okay, we'll fly out somewhere else. <laughs> you discovered the means to build a straw mattress all by yourself. In addition to the power to create that I bestowed unto you, it seems you also bear the special skill to discern what can be made from the materials you find. This wondrous power you have, it shall no doubt prove invaluable to you in your quest to rebuild the city. So we're just listening to God, and she's just politely waiting for us to be done with God, I guess. <laughs> Grapple, hello! Is everything okay Maybe not there? politely. Grapple! Is that the goddess speaking to you? You were staring off into space with your mouth open again. <laughs> again. <laughs> you gotta pay more attention to what's going on around you, Grapple. We got open flames and a straw bed and no ceiling. <laughs> uh, Grapple begins to feel time passing by. Is that code for there's a day-night cycle now? Yeah. Time flies! Okay. Ah. Uh, Grapple, can I ask you something? With all this wandering around collecting stuff, aren't you getting a bit hungry? I am getting hungry. Now that you mention it. Literally, now that you mention it, you remembered what hunger is. That's not my tummy rumbling. You must be hearing things again. Yeah, I'm hearing God's rumbling tummy. Yeah, I, I, mostly, <laughs> mostly everything weird I hear is God, so you're fine, Pippa. <laughs> but anyway, look. There are lots of plumberry trees around here. Plumberries are kind of small and they don't really fill you up, but they're really sweet and juicy. And since we don't know how to make things, that includes cooking, so we just eat whatever's on the ground. 
God again. A plum berry is a small pink Yes, fruit. thank you, God. Worked it out. Okay, well, you know, I just wanted to remind you. Wow, you found so many plum berries. Can I have them? Yeah, I collected a lot. <laughs> there you go, hon. Mum, mum, mum. <laughs> Hooray! Thanks, Grapple. To tell the truth, I'm actually really, really hungry. Here, these are for you. Oh. It's your share. I mean, you must be starving too, right? They're really tasty. You should try them. So, did you get some of your berries back? Yeah. <laughs> oh, she gave is. me, but she gave me three when she only took two. That's, that's very sweet. That's very nice. Except my hunger meter is totally full. It's the uh, bunch of little breads up there. Oh. Okay. When the breads run out, you start to die. Oh, no. Yeah. You know, Grapple, I've been thinking. You run around smashing up all the trees and grass and stuff and use the materials you find to build new things, right? It'd be pretty useful to have somewhere to store all that stuff, don't you think? After all, you're gonna be you're gonna have to collect a lot of different materials pretty soon. Yeah, that's true. Why? Well, it's a secret. Okay, but you should still make something to put all your stuff in. <laughs> your Crap. friend is wise indeed. Having a place to store and manage your resources you gather would serve you well. Okay, God, give me some pockets. <laughs> Uh, I think it's because you picked a girl character model. You don't get pockets. Oh, that's true. <laughs> you yeah. have fewer inventory spaces. <laughs> that's right. I, I do have oh. that. All right, so I figured out how to make a chest. I'm eating that seed of life that she gave me, which um, is really the closest thing you have to leveling up. Uh, it allows you to um, uh, increase your HP bar. Nice. But really, there's not me there's not much. And you did it for helping a person, not for like fighting a dragon lord or something. Right, exactly. Oh boy. She's so excited. That's incredible! Well, yeah, you stacked some things, and now you can put things in the things. That's that's witchcraft. Well, you made a chest. Now you can go and I'll put all the stuff you... Okay. You know, Grapple, there's something I've always wondered in the ten minutes we've known each other. <laughs> <laughs> what exactly has happened to this world? They say that the light was stolen from us by a really bad man. Ever since, it's all... It's been all anyone could do to just survive. Nobody cares about anyone but themselves, and they never help anyone else out. Anyway, I think it's super boring to live like that. Don't you think it'd be fun if we could rebuild the city and everyone Rebuild. could live together? I feel like if you're around, anything can happen. We should do everything we can to make this place or make this town a great place to live. So adorable. But we need loads and I like loads of materials I like the to do that. It's very good. That's why I asked you to make a chest. So go store stuff, and then go find stuff, and then go build stuff. Basically do everything. We're going to have the biggest, bestest city in the whole wide world. I'll have a think about what we need to build, and you'll build it. I mean, I think you're already there with that little room. Yeah. As far as, like, that goes, because no one knows how to build anything. Yeah. She's my muse. She's your muse. It's very good. You are going to help me, aren't you, Grapple? Aren't you? Quest complete. Uh, I really love the optimism and the working together, and also a lot of this game is convincing people not to be pessimistic, to work together, to try, even in little ways. It's like um, that's the light that you're bringing back, is, yeah, is hope. Yeah. That um, is nice. It's cheesy, but I really do love it. Yeah. Oh man, hope would have been a great name for the builder instead of fucking grapple. <laughs> <laughs> I like grapple. It's going to be a lot of work to turn this place into a huge city, isn't it? Is there anything I can do to help? Like, maybe I could build something. That'd be pretty helpful, wouldn't it? But if I'm gonna build things, I'm gonna need a room to work in. Just like the one in this picture. Grapple, can you build me a room like the one I've drawn? Pretty please. Wait, so I was you can say... draw, She has but figured you can't out build. drawing. So, uh, hmm. what she has is a blueprint. Blueprints are basically a super nice way of the game to show you what you have to build and kind of how to build it, and then once you've built it, you can modify it. Nice. Um, I like that she knows that that's a mason's workbench. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Uh, how do I... Um, how do I want to do this? It's a good question. I've, I've, so I've built, I've built these before. Uh, I mean, I did obviously beat the whole game before once, but I really... You do have a knack for city planning. I remember that last one looking real nice when it was done. Yeah, I think there's a good place for it. 
Not that button, not that button, not that button, or that button, but damn it. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so I need lots of dirt. All sorts of dirt. Um, but when you're building off a blueprint, it tells you if you're doing it right with these, uh... The little glowy bits. Yeah, yeah, which is super helpful. Um... Yeah, I appreciate uh, that. I need a lot more dirt. Aim up. There you go. Uh, if you're hearing a, a noisy meow, that would be one of our cats. They're um, trying to help. <laughs> they, are, they are trying to help. Okay. Uh, alright guys, I think I'll collect all this dirt and build this off screen. Um, and then I will see you in the next video. Um, I hope that you like it, and I hope that you kind of get the, the optimism and the sweetness of this game. Um, and maybe pick it up for yourself. Who knows? Yeah. Okay, thank you very much for watching, and see you guys next time on Endless Mode. Thanks for watching. Bye! I need... dirt.